Hello YouTubers. This video is a small demo on how to monitor PLC mode on basic panel. Please do not forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. PLC mode can be determined by the help of the function called get PLC mode. By firing this function it evaluates the current state of the PLC that has connection with your panel. There are two modes, that can be monitored by this function, run, which means that PLC program is being executed, and stop, which means that PLC program has been interrupted. Be advised, that this function works only with PLC S7-1200 at S7-1500 series. Get PLC mode function has two parameters, input parameter connection and output parameter mode. You need to select connection to the PLC which mode you want to evaluate. To save the mode you need to create tag. Let's create a new screen. Drag and drop text field on it. Write text PLC mode. Format text as needed. Create text list and name it mode. Set two entries. First entry set value 4 and text stop. Second entry set value 8 and text run. Create tag where function get PLC mode stores current PLC mode. Create integer type tag. It will hold the value of the PLC mode. Drag and drop symbolic IO field onto the screen. Select process tag where the mode of the PLC is stored. Select text list with PLC modes. Set IO field mode as output. Select function key F1. Uncheck use global assignment. Switch to events tab. Select press key event. Add function get PLC mode, which can be found in the functions list called settings. Select your connection as functions parameter connection. Select tag where the mode of the PLC will be stored. Each time you click function key F1 the PLC mode will be updated. Let's test the application. As you can see the mode of the PLC is updated after function key is pressed. Let's upgrade application a little bit by adding couple of more events to change the mode of the PLC. Select function key F2. This function key will be used to stop the PLC executing the program. Uncheck use global assignment and switch to the events tab. Select press key event and function set PLC mode. Select your connection. Leave mode stop. Select function key F3. This function key will be used to start the PLC executing the program. Uncheck use global assignment and switch to the events tab. 
Select Press Key Event and Function Set PLC Mode. Select your connection. Set Mode Run. Let's test the application. At first let's get the PLC mode. Current PLC mode is run. Let's click on function key F2 to put the PLC into stop mode. Now it is stop mode. Let's click function key F3 to put PLC in run mode. Now it is run. Let's upgrade our application even more. This time I will add functionality that checks the PLC mode on the regular intervals. For that purpose I will use function called simulate tag. This function can be accessed in the events of the screen. Create integer type tag as this function accepts only tags of type integer. Switch to your screen and then switch to the screen events. Select event loaded. Find the function simulate tag under the system functions, other functions. Select newly created integer type tag as tag parameter. Parameter cycle is the factor by which the cycle is multiplied. One cycle is 200 milliseconds. So value 1 means, that tag value will be changed by the specified value on the regular intervals of 200 milliseconds. Let's set here 5, so the tag value will be changed every 1 second. Parameter maximum value is the value that tag can assume during simulation as maximum. The value of this parameter must be greater than the value of the parameter minimum value. Let's set here 1. Parameter minimum value is the value that tag can assume during simulation as minimum. When the value of tag reaches maximum value, then it will drop to minimum on the next cycle. Let's set here 0. Parameter value. This parameter is the value by which the value of the tag is changed during every cycle. Positive value will increment the value of the tag, negative value will decrement the value of the tag. Let's set here 1. This setup means, that value of the tag will be changed between 0 and 1, by the step of 1, on the interval of 1 second. Switch back to the tags table. Select tag that will be simulated and switch to the event tab of the tag. Select event value change and select function get PLC mode. Select your connection as connection parameter. Select tag where the mode of the PLC will be stored. Let's change backlight color according to the mode of the PLC. If the mode of the PLC is stop, then color will be yellow, and run mode color will be green. You can find a link to the video on how to change backlight color of the basic panel in the description. All is done. Let's test the application.
after the screen was loaded, tag is simulated, so PLC mode status is updated constantly. That is that what I wanted to show you today. If this video was helpful please do not forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and happy coding.